You might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong. Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Looks like May's not in yet. Miss you. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Wish May would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. An artist I was not. But I'm sure it looks good to me. So, I got the job. May's recommendation really helped. People know that when she says something, she means it. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. 
Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. You know, the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most of them. Sad not to see Oscorp here. Aha! I'm on a roll now. We don't have to make it a thing. We can just be casual. Yeah, that's fine. But I still want a ring. Peter! What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey workout in the city. <laughs> 